forget to enter our giveaway. I keep forgetting to say that. Hi, welcome back to Like Mother, Like Daughter. I'm Twyla, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel to see the Macy's Beauty Box unboxing. So this is the Macy's Beauty Box for the month of September. And it comes in a box like this. This is how it comes, there's no packaging. There's no bubble packs or anything in there, and it comes with a little card. Now, if you don't know about Macy's Beauty Box, it is a monthly subscription. It's $15 a month plus tax, and it seems to me from last month's subscription that they've combined Sephora with Ipsy. So you get a bag like Ipsy, and you get five products plus a bonus product like Sephora, and you also get a coupon for $5 off a beauty product at Macy's similar to Sephora in their 50 points rewards. So last month to me, I was a little disappointed because of the $15. Uh, it, it seemed like a $10 a month subscription. You're paying basically $5 for your $5 coupon, but let's see what's in September's box. So this is cute. It's a little travel one. It's just blue on the inside. It says Macy's. It's a cute little Bag. I like these bags. I use these when I give little gifts out to people, so I, I like the bag like that. It does come with a little card that tells you about the products that you're getting in there for the month. Whoops, that was a sneak peek. And here's how it comes wrapped. So, we shall see. Like a dummy, last month after this, I threw the pamphlet away and I forgot to pull the $5 coupon off. So, I'm doing it this time. Stick it in my purse. <laughs> So this month's theme, it says, from powders to moisturizers and more, this month's box features sample size goodies that keep you fresh and fabulous on the go. And the first thing we have is a, this is an Ahava, is that the right way to say it? Time to clear purifying mud mask. There is no foil on it, but it is, I like, I like, I love masks. I love all kinds of masking. It's something that I do on a regular basis, two or three times a week just to keep my skin hydrated, moisturized, glowing. Um, I really love it. It says that this, I'm reading the card here, the Ahava Purifying Mud Mask is Dead Sea Mud and the Osmoter. I don't know what that is. Osmoter. Do not know what that is. I wish they wouldn't use terms that I do not know what that is. I'm gonna have to look that up and I'll put it right here, whatever that means. It's an invigorating mask that penetrates deeply to help draw impurities and purify the skin for a more even looking complexion. This 0.9 ounce, okay, so it says the travel size, which is 0.9 ounces, is $10. This is not 0.9 ounces, so it's 0.68 ounces. The next thing we have is a, oh, I love this. This is the Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer Base, Laura Mercier, and it says this is give skin a sheer healthy looking glow. The travel size, which is one ounce, is $22. Again, this is not one ounce. Next we have Burt's Bees Hand Salve, and this is 0.3 ounces. It says it's packed with botanical oils, herbs, and beeswax to help moisturize even the roughest of skin. Just a nice little balm. This is a nice very nice travel size to put in your bag. Then we have a perfume, which is a bonus. This is Vince Camuto. Okay, I wanted to say vaporizer. It's not, I don't know how to pronounce it. Chow, this is the chow. And it says it celebrates the spontaneity and energy of a modern woman's lifestyle. It has floral and citrus notes with a rich dry down of glowing amber and vanilla. Ooh. Sounds like I would like it, but I cannot smell today. I have, I'm not sure what's going on with my allergies. Don't know. But 3.4 ounces is $85. And then we have Clinique, which I love the Clinique brand. I really, really enjoy their brand. I'm actually wanting to try their new glow foundation. So if you've already tried that, let me know what you think down below. I have dry skin. This is the Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. This is a 0.21 ounces and it is the, the gel which I really, really like that. It says it's a cream that helps plump and glow the skin for up to 24 hours. I do love this stuff. The travel size is $12, which is 15 mils. This is seven mils, so. And then the last thing in here is the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. I haven't tried, I don't believe I've tried anything from Dermablend. So this is a loose, translucent setting powder. It says that sets your makeup for up to 16 hours, smudge and transfer resistant wear totally translucent with a matte finish. 
So I like the more glowy finishes because I am dry. Not sure if I like that. It says it comes in three shades, but this is the translucent shade and this is five grams. So that's not a bad bag. I like that. Bird's Bees I can get at the drugstore. So I'm a little disappointed to see what I would consider a drugstore brand in a Macy's beauty box. When I think of Macy's, I think of higher end brands like Laura Mercier or Clinique. I don't think of something that I can pick up at Walgreens or CVS. So I'm a little disappointed to see that in there, although I'm nice to have the salve in here. Ahava, I haven't tried any skincare from Ahava other than body lotion. I've tried some of their hair products. So I'm excited to have the mud mask in here. Always excited to see Clinique products in a beauty subscription. Absolutely very excited to have this Radiance Primer. Oh, I love Laura Mercier's Hydrating Primer. And I'm not sure about the Derma Blend because it's a matte finish, but I'll try it. It says it's translucent. So it's all in all, it's not a bad bag. I, I don't mind getting these in here if these are extras, these little perfume samples. But I think if you're paying for a subscription, that you should get one of their rollerball sizes or at least a mini, you know, a little rollerball or a mini size, I think would be perfect for these subscriptions. But I don't, I don't mind these as if they're an extra. So um, was this worth the $15? With the $5, if, if I use it, and I don't know if I will, but I felt that I needed to give it a full three to four months try to see if it was worth it. Still, I think even though what's in here, it's still only a $10 subscription to me. That's what I feel like with last month's and this month. Last month's had this really cool bag and it was very, very, oh, there's some items that were in there. Claire was gonna take these. Very, very, quite a nice size bag. This is a cute little bag. It's very nice too. I love all of the travel things on there. I do travel a lot, so these sizes are perfect for me to travel with. However, that being said, I think they could forego the $5 off and just charge $10 for this bag and I would be very happy with it. That's my thoughts on this month. Let me know what you think down below. If you've used any of these products before, please let me know your experience down before. I have used the Extended Moisture Surge from Clinique before and I love that line. So I am excited to try everything that's in here. Thank you so much for watching. Come back and see us again. We love it when you do.